She said something like it would ruin it forever. Having said that, sometimes you kind of underestimate some advice. There has to be another way to do it. Always learn and do better. Learn and do better. That's what I, I mean, trying to record this video. This is the third time, but I'm gonna do it. I'm in between chores. The boys are yelling. The dogs are screaming because they want to be in the creek right now. But I wanted to do an intro to something that I already talk about. But I want to be 100% clear about this. I am talking about myself and what I like, what I do, what I need to improve. And I'm not talking about anybody else or any other channels or any other person I know in real life. This is about me. I've always been the kind of person that I need to do better. If something is not working, there has to be another way to do it. It's my personality, but that's the way I am. And I am not afraid to say when I make a mistake. So throughout my life, with my relationship with my husband, how to raise my kids, now with the farm, with my work, I've always been like, okay, if this is not working out, I need to research it, I need to read a book, I need to find strategies, I need to come up with, um, I don't know, something that will make it better. And that's what keeps me moving in life, and that's what's happening right now with a farm. Um, I always share with you guys, when things go right, what I've been doing, but I make a point to actually make a video specifically about things that I didn't do right and things that I need to improve and that I want to do better. And I always encourage your comments and I always encourage your um, ideas because out of all the pool of ideas that people throw at me, then I can try different things, pick and choose and see what works for me. Having said that, sometimes you kind of underestimate some advice and that's what happens in this case recently blue cactus dairy goat crystal shared a video saying why she was taking the kids 24 hours after they were born she not only explained the process but she also said that she didn't leave the kids with the moms because it would ruin their udder she said something like it would ruin it forever and i thought to myself i have been dam racing for the last three years and no otters have been destroyed so clearly that's not my case until this happened it's a noisy morning but look at this probably some of you might be thinking what am i looking at <laughs> and it's a lopsided otter this happened in a few days where I was busy and I left the kids with Clara and I didn't milk. And this, to me, is a clear sign that I need to do something about it. Now, what I'm doing to try to fix it is trying to make this even. As you can see, it's kind of rounded here and over here it's not rounded. Time, like I am very much a proponent of dam racing. So, and see, this is like hard, but at the same time doesn't want to come out. So I have to work really hard and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work really hard to try to get as much milk as I can out of this one. But uh, I'm not going to keep you for that because it's going to take me a few minutes. Because once it's, I mean, this I noticed yesterday and... Um, I think I was reading a comment yesterday. She was saying, oh, I appreciate your, you know, videos where you explain like what you can do better or how you can improve. And I said thank you because sometimes I feel like, you know, here on YouTube, there's a lot of information shared that works for a period of time, but then it stopped working and I don't see a video that says, you know, I stopped doing that. Uh, where you really have to be watching every single video to kind of get a glimpse on things that don't work for the people. So I make a point to actually make a video when I made a mistake and say, well, these are the, you know, five things, three things I want to do better. You know, just trying to have a video, point of reference. So if people watch a video where I'm using certain things, 
and then all of a sudden I'm not using them anymore or I'm not doing that anymore I like to have a point of reference because for me that's what I look for in a channel I mean you can share everything that you're doing but if you recommend something and then it stops working I appreciate when you're able to say, hey, I tried this, but it didn't work. I don't think there's a problem or that I would ever see like, oh my gosh, what a liar. She said she was doing this or he said he was doing this and it really, she wasn't or, you know, or it's okay to try things and then realize that they don't work. I don't see the fault in that. So... I appreciate my subscribers because I know that they understand it so I don't feel judged by my subscribers or my friends, online friends that I made because they know that I will always try to do better. That is the way I am. I cannot be a different person. I cannot say, you know, this is what it is and, and that's it. No, this is what I'm doing right now. Hopefully it will work out, but if in a year from now it doesn't, I don't feel bad saying, you know what, it didn't work, so I'm doing something different. You know, and again, it just depends on the kind of herd you have, how many doughs you have. So maybe if you have two doughs, you'll do things differently than me. If you have 12, you will do things differently. If you have hundreds, you always, of course, you're going to do things differently than me. All I'm trying to say is, listen, I mean, I listen. I'm not saying you should. You do whatever you think is best for you because I'm not here to tell you what to do. But I'm here to tell you that it's okay to change things if they don't work out. And it's okay to share something that then you realize eh, well, it didn't work out. And in this case, what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna have to work real hard with Clara to try to even out her udder because it's this is the damage of about four days, okay? I am not kidding you. I took four days off and she doesn't have a single kid. She has three kids and a bunch of other kids that she lets nurse from her. So it's not that there was a single, uh, it's just that they favor one over the other one. And so this is what happened. Her structure is not good. Uh, this has to be a little bit more even. And as you can see, it's not. Like right here she has like, you know, the feeling of a muscle, which I'm sure is some milk that it's there that needs to come out and it's not coming out. If Can you see how it's not coming out? It should come out. Like on this side, it's perfect. And this side. And this is the second day that I've been working at it. You know, you fail and then you learn sometimes. Uh, if you're smart enough you, and if you have the resources to do it right away, then more power to you because you can follow the advice immediately. For me, I just didn't think I needed it. And I did not have the extra pen to separate kids. Now I'm starting to see that that would be the best way to raise babies. Uh, if you, especially if you are counting on adult, again, I am trying to take Clara, who is older, to this show, and now all of a sudden she has a lopsided udder, and she hasn't in the three years, and she doesn't have a single, like, all of those things should tell you that she needs, she needs to be massaged more. All of those things should tell you that she shouldn't be lopsided, and she is. And so it's like, what are we doing over here, you know? How is this possible? Well, it is possible. I am going to say that I chuckle. That's kind of embarrassing. But I chuckle at the thought of what... Um, I chuckle when Crystal said they can ruin another. They certainly can, okay? If this is the damage of four days, 
of kids favoring one side and I wasn't even milking, I would have had to be on top of this dough to make sure that she was even. And I just don't have the time to be honestly leaving moms with kids and then keep an eye on their other. You can still see it. So I'm going to work a little bit more on this side. I'm going to massage it. I'm going to try to make it drop because it's too high, which is a good thing in an udder, that an udder is high, but that's not the way that it is. Otherwise, this would have been up, a little bit more up. So how can you make a mistake like this? Well, it just happens, and I would never have thought that four days could do this much damage to an udder, and I'm kicking myself for it because, like, I am... I'm going to have to change my plans if this doesn't get fixed in, you know, the next couple of months. So, I am really devastated about this. So, all that to say is, Crystal was right in this case. And maybe I would have gone through, you know, 10 years of breeding, 12 years of breeding. But eventually, these things can happen. Will they happen for sure? I don't know if it will happen to everyone but can happen and it's very humbling to accept when things that you try don't work so what does that mean it means that i thought it was a great idea to separate kids but i don't have another fence area where i can put them we have a different fence area but it's not safe for the kids because they're you know they're in an area where they couldn't spend the night um, so I would have to build something different and I don't have the resources to do that right now So this is the best that I can do with what I have Having said that that doesn't mean that I can learn from this experience and do better next time Always learn and do better learn and do better. That's what I keep uh, Kind of keeping myself accountable, you know, that's the, my baseline and that's what I teach my kids, you know? You can always make mistakes. You can always, but if you know better, then do better. Now I know the damage that can do in four days. Maybe your does are amazing. They raise the best kids, they're always great weight, they're always the best behaved, they're the sweetest, they're the kindest, they're the, you have no problems whatsoever, then maybe this message is not for you because you clearly have it figured out. But this message is just to share with you things that I've shared before that now, today, I don't even know what day is today, but uh, today, I think it's the ninth. I learned, I learned the lesson and now I know better. So I need to do better. What does that mean? We'll see because there's a lot of changes that are gonna be happening and there's a lot of, uh, Things that are happening behind the scenes that I cannot really share with you guys because they're more personal than anything. And sometimes, you know, something personal sharing it's fine, but some other ones I kind of want to keep to myself kind of that way. And now I know better and that I will do better. Uh, what that looks like, I don't know, but I will do better from now on. I learned my lesson with the lice, so now my barn has no more straw. No more straw. It's gone and now I'm trying a different way with the easy pick, which I'm going to show you in a different video. I mean, learn my lesson. I did. And I guess that's why I like to share these things with you because maybe this will be the inspiration that you need to try something different. I'm not saying you should try what I'm doing, which clearly works for me or it stops working and I share it with you. Or, you know, maybe it's... Uh, other things that you need to explore and understand that sometimes this humbling moments, which I appreciate, I always appreciate. I used to tell um, my husband, I wish that if our kids do something wrong, either legally or whatever they're doing wrong, I wish they get caught. And people would laugh at me because they're like, what do you mean you wish they were, you know, they would get caught. And I always pray that, pray it since they were little. If they're doing something wrong, convict them like if they're doing something wrong let them get caught let somebody see it and have them be accountable for what they're doing because that's the only way that we learn we learn from our mistakes we learn from the things that we messed up and if that means that you have